Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I am taking the Land Cruiser 250 series onto some interesting off-road courses. This is going to be a good test of how the Land Cruiser is going to handle these kind of conditions and also give us a, a feel of the actual driving character because it's the first time we get to drive the Land Cruiser 250. We have driven the um, of course the Lexus GX 550 which uh, is a very similar model but that has a V6 this one has a 2.4 turbo hybrid uh, both very capable let's see how this thing handles okay so I'm going through some pretty rough river rock this is like the riverbed I should say and let's see how the Land Cruiser handle this should be a piece of cake for this vehicle that's designed to go anywhere and to do anything well surprisingly comfortable despite the fact that we're driving over some super tough terrain okay no problem so far coming out of our river uh, bed so now we're gonna go through some additional driving here we're gonna continue to follow this path which is quite challenging so I don't know if you can see all the ground, it might be a little hard to see, but it's a pretty interesting driving condition. It's going to tilt the vehicle left and right like this quite a bit. I'm not using crowd control because I actually prefer to just step on the gas myself. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> Almost got stuck, but went over no problem. All right, let's keep on going here for more off-roading. It's got an under vehicle camera so I can see the, the road under the vehicle, which is really helpful. Okay, so more tough terrain. I mean, wh what I can say so far is the one theme with the Land Cruiser is that it feels very, very safe. I'm tilt, tilted about 45 degrees now. I'm not sure if you can tell from the, the two cameras I have located on the vehicle. And you wouldn't normally do this on any other SUV, even those that are supposedly able to take some of the off-road uh, conditions. You wouldn't go through this in, in any other normal SUV. So no problem at all with Land Cruiser. It's also just very comfortable, stable. I will say that with the limited driving that we're allowed to do with this model, other than the engine, other than the powertrain, it does feel a lot like the GX. Obviously different tire, a little bit different suspension setting and so forth. But aside from that, the steering effort, the steering feel, the basic driving character, are very similar. I'm driving the Land Cruiser uh, Premium, which is a mid-tier, not the first edition, not the 1958 model, but all the different trim models will be basically the same. They have the same overall drive, same engine, same transmission, so forth. Okay, a little bit more challenging condition here. And again, no issue. I drove this exact same road yesterday with the Tacoma TRD Pro as well. Okay, so now I'm moving along a little faster. It's a very predictable feel. The steering has a pretty good feedback. It's not um, hydraulic anymore like before, so you don't get the same tactile feel and the heavy duty feel that you get from the previous generation Land Cruiser, which wasn't sold in Canada anyway, but was sold in the US. That's the 200 series. But uh, still, regardless, the steering has a good agile character. It's a, it's a very quick steering. I have a, a pretty good feedback from the road. It doesn't feel too numb. Just a little bit lighter than what I like to see. A lot of people like the lighter steering. So unfortunately, the consumer demand or consumer's request is to have a lighter steering. And that's the main reason why more and more manufacturers design these vehicles with a very light steering. 
Bible say in the Land Cruiser is not super light, medium lightness. You just can't replicate the fuel of a hydraulic power steering, though that isn't possible. Okay, I'm coming through some really tough driving. I'm going to go over another series of riverbed here, making sure I don't hit anything. Wow, this is crazy. You just will not do this in any other SUV, especially unitized body ones. These are kind of road condition that body on the frame SUV has to has to take. Wow, no problem at all going over that. Now a bit of a river. Here, actual water in the in the road, actual river, I should say. And we're gonna drive over this river. It's not very deep anyway, so this should not be a problem. Yeah, no problem at all. Piece of cake for Land Cruiser. Surprisingly comfortable too, and it's quiet. I think the turbo with the hybrid actually is an advantage here because you can modulate the accelerator better in a sense that the turbo kicks in much earlier and so you get um, a better torque and horsepower at the lower RPM range compared to a normal naturally aspirated engine and that sometimes makes it easier to navigate through these roads because I can step on the gas and you get immediate torque to overcome some of these conditions so really well done but most of all the suspension is impressive it's just very comfortable surprisingly quiet and uh, yeah this thing is so capable okay going through another twisty challenging road here again no problem at all Wow, this thing is so capable. It's totally crazy. Very smooth, Ref refined even, I would say, over these road conditions. I know which car I'm going to take with me if I have to go on some kind of an overlanding expedition. This is the one I gotta take. A whole bunch of bumpy surfaces, but not difficult to drive. And again, we're taking the Land Cruiser 250 series through some tough terrain, but actually a piece of cake for Land Cruiser. So this is just a brief uh, drive with the Land Cruiser 250. More to come about the driving impressions and other things but for now, I hope you enjoy taking a, a bit of a, a short drive with the Land Cruiser 250. I think it's one impressive package. I think this vehicle has so much capability uh, and we're just, you know, scratching the surface because there's a lot more things you can do with this vehicle than what we just went through. Although it was pretty challenging out there. Wow, I, I'm just blown away and amazed at how good this thing is on a rough terrain. How it's able to keep its stability how it's able to uh, maintain a good road feel the steering is light but actually when you start to take it off-road you can appreciate the easy maneuvering of the steering not much complaint from me now the only question is do i buy this one or lexus gx overtrail that's the only thing i have to keep in mind and try to decide over the next couple of weeks but for now uh, i'm very impressed this thing is absolutely capable if you enjoyed my video, I would appreciate it uh, if you can give me a thumbs up or make some comments and then perhaps you can also subscribe as well. But until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.